Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you think all arcade centers are dark and dirty, you haven't been to the new fun center in town. Welcome Brittany Wall from Coin Crazy to the program. Hi, Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The funnest for place in here. town. It definitely oh, is. is. Mm, it's so fun. And it is clean and beautiful. Mm -hmm. it is I really think that was my biggest shock when I walked in. Yeah. <laughs> Like Not grimy wow. or oh, you know, right. seedy kind of looking, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just it's so pretty. pretty and, and It is. It's I, so nice. Yeah, everyone needs to stop by. Yeah, definitely. It's so nice and fresh inside. We made sure when we were building it to make sure all the colors on the wall is really pretty. And it was okay. really like visually pleasing because you go into a lot of the other arcades around here, mm -hmm. like in Orem and Sp or Springville, and they're just a little bit like old looking they yeah. smell a little weird mm -hmm. it's a little bit icky we wanted to make sure that it's a place you wanted to come back to it's a place yes. you feel comfortable leaving your kids at well we've been back a couple of times so, th so thanks for that so I know that you were able to go to the ribbon cutting yes okay yeah. so tell us and about that well they gave us pizza which mm -hmm. all of us appreciated but oh, good. really thought the pizza was so tasty it really is huh yeah I love it too <laughs> like you know, someone was standing next to me and they said I wonder if you can get like takeout like after work I'll just swing by and get the pizza yeah. you definitely can for sure so, stop by we don't do good. delivery or anything like that but yeah. for sure if you're just here to order food order food Oh, we wanted to make sure, like I said, we want to make sure everything was visually pleasing in the place. We wanted to make sure it's a place that you want to come back to, whether it's for the food, whether it's for the games, mm -hmm. to have a good time. Yeah. Everything we wanted to make sure it was great for the Smash for well, the community. Well, I was Fantastic. definitely pleasantly surprised. Oh, good. And thank you for joining the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Oh, good. That was a little plug. <laughs> so are you a yeah. family? Yeah. So my dad and my uncle, John mm -hmm. and Paul Snyder, they're the ones who started Coin Crazy. Oh. Um, Paul is my dad. John is my uncle. And it's something that they've talked about doing for years all growing up oh, it was really? always a oh. yes it was always a conversation about they didn't really know what they were going to do for a long time it was like yeah. maybe we should start a restaurant maybe we should start uh -huh. a barbecue place maybe we should start etc 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 there's a so million things what was it oh. what finally put them over the edge to decide well, coin crazy like let's go crazy with coins and yeah. arcade and kids and <laughs> it fits their personalities so well actually okay. so mm -hmm. my uncle got out of a business he mm -hmm had left a business and it was the perfect time he was like okay. we're gonna do it it's gonna be now uh -huh. um <clears throat> before i hop into something else and so they love taking their kids to the nickel city like all the other places over in spanish for springville their kids love it my siblings love it my cousins mm -hmm. love it and it just seems something that fit it was something that was missing in our community you have to drive a good 20 30 minutes right. if you want to go somewhere like that mm -hmm. and it was a perfect fit for spanish work especially since it's been blowing up. There's so much going into yeah, Spanish right now. So it was the true. perfect time to do it. So let's talk about so, your location. You're on Expressway Lane. Yep, right next to the Sports Performance Academy that yep. just opened up. And then in that new warehouse. Mm -hmm. So did you guys like make that decision to open Coin Crazy when the warehouse had already started? Or how did you get involved and know that that would be your location? So it was just kind of all perfect timing. Mm -hmm. um, they were looking for a place to do it. They didn't know if they needed to buy land to just yeah. build a place up themselves. And they found that that building was renting out. And it was just kind of, oh my gosh, wow. perfect timing. It was meant, meant to, to be. be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was perfect timing for us too. So we just we just had a birthday party yes, there. Did. And, good, and you have, let's talk about, about your... Um, birthday rooms there mm -hmm. are three there's two, three three, of them. Mm -hmm. three okay so we basically i just hopped online i made an online reservation basically just had to show up that day i made a deposit and i could either think i didn't necessarily have to have pizza but i chose mm -hmm. to have pizza mm -hmm. so we had a pizza party um had my guests listed everybody got the okay so let's talk about this everything okay. is on cards yes it's called coin crazy but we don't actually use nickels <laughs> coins in the funny. facility <laughs> but it actually is we have we did one of the things we didn't like about some of the arcades that did use nickels is if you ever spill the bag dropped it at places they try to be uh, nice to you and accommodate you as best as you can but sometimes you're out of a lot of nickels sometimes it's hard the kids lose them places the cards okay. we actually have a system or if you do lose your card while you're playing, mm -hmm. we can look up your card in our system and give you your card with exactly as much as you had before. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So it makes it easier. If anything gets lost, it's cleaner. Um, but that's why we yeah. chose to use cleaner. cards. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yes, it's cleaner, that, that kind of yeah. that dirty money mm -hmm. feeling. But I know for like all of the kids, they each had a certain amount. So they had their amount allotted with their, you would get this much in coins and you get this many in tickets. And then mm -hmm. once it's used up, it's fair and square. And then they mm -hmm. get to go to the prize counter at the end. Mm -hmm. And I love the prize counter. Talk oh, about that. We oh. have so many things. We actually just, um, 
changed kind of what we were doing with the price counter, but we have one thing I like about our price counter is that everything is like affordable in tickets, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of places you go and it's like, oh, I can get two tootsie rolls and okay. five yeah. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But My kids are like, what? Yeah. Ours, you can actually like get prizes that aren't just a tootsie roll or a candy. Right. You can get like a board game up on the thing that's really not that unattainable, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. So, mm-hmm. okay. um, but we have all sorts of prizes. We do have the candy, the regular stuff that you always get. Mm-hmm. We have things like, I think just the other day we had like a bacon cooker that was like in it. <laughs> like that you oh. said, so red, like random prizes, but that's yeah. different than what you normally see mm-hmm. at an arcade. Mm-hmm. I guess it's more fun. Yeah. But, hey. How did you come up with the name? Um, I Especially actually don't really know how they came up with the name. I don't really know how they came up with the name. It kind of fits. It goes well, but yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't really tell you. I don't oh, know where that okay. came from. Cool. But it works. It's fun. That's so. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and if they do run out of coins, that you can there's a there's a couple of refill stations, so mm-hmm. you can just refill the more money on there, and they don't necessarily have to cash in that day either. Nope. So they can keep their card. Yeah, those and cards you can go don't back expire. on another visit. Mm-hmm. Right. So that would be fun for like a birthday gift yeah. for mm-hmm. a, a tween or a young child and give them a coin crazy gift mm-hmm. card we sold a lot of gift cards around christmas time they're great mm. stocking stuffers for people because they they do never expire and like i said you can register them to your name too so mm-hmm. if That's they ever lo- lost the card you come in hey i need my card my name is Brittany wall they can okay. work right up for you and hand you a new one. So. Oh, that's fun. Nice. And there's that's a couple really of um, things that aren't necessarily for the tiny kids either. So there's mm-hmm. there's something for the whole family. So there's little games. And then we talked to, um, there's a little roller coaster ride, yeah. kind of the vi- the visual. Mm-hmm. What are those? We have a lot of virtual yeah. reality. Yeah. We have a lot of virtual reality experiences mm-hmm. at our arcade. Yeah. So the one that you're talking about, mm-hmm. the first one is, um, it's called Virtual Rabbids. It's mm-hmm. like the game Rabbids, if you've ever played that on like the Wii. <laughs> but it's a roller coaster. We have three different rides. You put on the virtual reality mm-hmm. headset, and it's crazy. You sit on a thing that makes you feel like you're going on the ride yeah. that you see, and mm-hmm. makes me a little sick. But it's really fun. It's oh, a blast. Wow. Little kids love it. They'll ride it and ride it and mm-hmm. ride it. Yes, and they, will. It. <laughs> they will. But it's it's really fun. And then the other virtual reality one that we have, that one's more aimed towards like smaller kids. Although anyone could ride it. But the other one we have is called Hologate. Mm-hmm. It's a four-player virtual reality experience. Mm-hmm. Um, we love the idea of having a virtual reality in our facility. It's real something that's really big and popular right now. Okay. But a lot of places where you go to play virtual reality, it's a one-player experience. Mm-hmm. Um, the rest of your group usually sits on a couch and watches you oh. or watches the screen while <laughs> you fun. go one at a time playing. And that's not as fun. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. we wanted to make sure we had something that could be inclusive for a bunch of people so you could all experience it together. So it's four-player. And we have a bunch of different games right now, and there's always more coming out. Um okay. For example, one of them is called Zombite. Um, mm. Put on the headset, we give you a blaster, and you have to fight off a bunch of zombies coming at you to save okay. the world. And it's pretty real. It's pretty fun. Oh, it's, wow. It's crazy. Did you play it, Natasha? Imagine that. I did not. Did I was not. I was chasing, but, okay. but yeah, the kids love it. Yes. But that one is so fun, and all the games on that one is really fun. It's crazy to take off your headset when you're done and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in here. an arcade. Yeah. It's, it's very immersive. Wow. It's it's crazy, but it's, it's very fun. Yeah. What are your hours? So we're open Monday through Thursday um, from 3 p.m. Okay. until 10 p.m. Okay. And then on Fridays and Fridays we're open from 1 p.m. until midnight. Oh wow. And Saturdays um, is 10 a.m. until or 11 a.m. until midnight. Sorry. Okay. 11 a.m. Wow. until midnight. Long hours then. Yeah, mm-hmm. long hours. And I love yeah, it. Yeah, I think you're probably full all of the time, oh, right? I know the the kids in our neighborhood love it. Mm-hmm. Every Thank Saturday, you. like we're Thanks going to Queen Crazy. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. It's Thank exciting. You so much. And also, we have um, a few deals too. I just wanted to make sure we. Yeah. Do. So Mondays we actually have a family for like a family night package it's for a family of four um it's admission for four people four games of laser tag and then everybody gets a four dollar game card as well Mm -hmm. that's for 29.95 and then on tuesdays and wednesdays we have our laser tag nights um it's either from 6 to 10 p.m you can come in and play a game laser tag it's three dollars per person which is normally five dollars per person or you can buy a nine dollar pass for the whole night and you can play as many games as you want on tuesdays and wednesdays perfect for mutual groups or anything like that um, and then Thursdays, we have our Hologate night, that virtual reality thing I was talking about. Uh-huh. It's normally $5 per game, but on Thursdays, we do two games for $5, so you get one for free. Love it. Um, but it's just a great way to keep you active during the week. Come in. We have yeah. a lot of great deals going on. Um, we have a lot of opportunities for corporate events, too, or team building activities. Like I said, like you mentioned, birthday parties, but it's not yeah. just for little kids. You can bring your team in and come. Yeah. 
have a blast. Awesome. Too, so. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. And Thanks coming for to ladies' me. night, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Interior designing can just about drive you crazy. Stay with us for some expert help.